Hello everyone, I'm Slavia Skumalia and my husband is Mr. Skumalia. <laughs> I moved to the UK on a UK fiancé settlement visa on 1st December 2018. In my first video, I promise you that I'll give you a list of documents I used to submit for my UK fiancé settlement visa. So, in this video, the first part I did when I was organizing my documents, uh, the first part was application forms and my personal documents. In this part, I included my personal documents and my sponsor's documents. I had to photocopy all my documents and these were my original documents. I used original documents. And these are the bags you get the day you submit your documents, your supporting documents, and the day you do your biometrics. In Kampala, TLS contact is where we, we submit our documents. It's the visa center where we submit our documents. And these were my photocopies. My photocopies. Remember, I did photocopies in each and every document I submitted. So, these are my photocopies. I used orange to separate my document, each document I submitted. I used orange stickers and I used light green on my, on my original documents. These are the stickers I used. You could you choose any color you want you may use the small one but it's better you use this size because this size is okay with every document because the bags are small and so in this part the application in this part the documents i you i included the first document i included in this part was my current passport this is my current passport it's the first document I had when I was going to submit my documents. And the other part, the other document I included, I included was my old passport. This is my old passport. It's a Ugandan passport. It's the second document I included in, in my application, in this part, application forms and personal documents so the other document i included remember i'm using photocopies these documents are photocopies as my originals are disorganized the other document i included is the a4a application form the form you fill this form online it's the application form you fill it online after opening uh opening up signing up for an account on um, a uk government visa for uk and this is the other document i included the a f for a application form the other document i included was appendix two this is my appendix to form. It has many pages, but I included this form because everyone is supposed to fill this form. It depends on the visa category, but for family visas, you're supposed to fill appendix to appendix to form VAF for a financial requirement. It shows how you're going to meet your income requirement. Make sure you include this form. If you don't include this form, your visa will be denied. The other form I included was SU07-12 form. It's a sponsorship undertaking form. Your sponsor is supposed to fill this. They they print it online and fill it and fill it and then sign it and you could include that with your document in with your documents in this part 
people say you don't need to include this form it's not necessary but my lawyer say like it's better to include this form as your sponsor signs and say that he'll be able to take care of you <laughs> so i included that in my in this in this part the other document i included the other documents i included were our letters of support for both me the applicant and my sponsor my sponsor's letter we wrote our letters in this letter you write how we how you met we wrote how we met when every time we met and where we traveled everything how our relationship developed and uh, where i'll be staying and then our future plans it's why we included in this letter don't include what you do or what he does only talk about your relationship and your future plans so mine had two pages and his had one page his had one page because i'm a woman i'm supposed to write much <laughs> and then after that i had to use these paper separators they help you they help you to know that this is this and this is that so i use those two and the other document i included was his current his current passport his current passport photocopy color photocopy i included his current passport and it was one page in this section as the bio page it's what i included only his bio page and i'll tell you why i included on in this section only one page one passport and he had two passports so i included but if you have uh, uh and if you have he had an old passport or if you're going to apply and your partner has an old passport make sure that you include that too in this section the bio page and the other document i included was my english test this is my english test i also included that in this section the english test so it's i e o t s life skills a1 speaking and listening it's a, a certificate <laughs> a listening certificate it helps you it helps you to meet it shows that you meet the income the english requirement so this is how i met my english requirement with a certificate a pass in a pass in i e o t s life skills speaking a1 speaking and listening the other document i submitted in this part was my my TB certificate you get this certificate at iom you go if you don't know where they are in your country if your country is exposed with tb you you check if you you check if you need to do a tb test for in your country so and then you go to iom international organization for migration to do this test for uk visas they already say be there before 11 a.m that's what they say and it expires after after six months so i did this english uh, i did this tb test to show that i meet the medical requirement and you're not supposed to go in a, a clinic or hospital to do this you only go to iom international organization for, for migration to do this english to do this tb test make sure you do a tb test if your country requires you to you're supposed to do an I mean, a tb test um i think that's all i i yeah i don't think but i'm sure that's all what i included 
in this part that's all those are the only documents i included in this part and i didn't include the photos passport photos as when i submitted my supporting documents that i did my biometrics they said i don't need to do i don't need passport photos they took my my biometrics and then they took a picture of me a photo so it's the same photo they use for your for you for your visa <laughs> um another thing i want to tell you to talk about is the english test the day i when i submitted my documents that i submitted the supporting documents to the visa center my test was already expired but before it expired i had to submit my online visa application form and pay for it online because my lawyer said that my uh, my english test was expiring on 13th august 2018 and my lawyer said you could you apply online you submit your online application and pay for it if if you pay for it before your your english test expires that means that your english test will still be be valid even if it expired before you submit i submitted my my supporting documents so i had to pay for my application form online on 11 august 2018 and my english test was expiring on 13 august 2018 that's what i did and it's this english test so uh we use an immigration lawyer law firm first for immigration in case you don't want to use uh, an immigration law firm or solicitor or advice advisor you can do the application by yourself and you can only find immigration advisors on oisc uk government website it's the office of the regulated immigration it's the office of the immigration services commissioner on a government uk government website in case you find i any in case someone tells you that oh um i can help you with your visa i can help you with everything with your uk visa they're lying they will only help you with your documents how you organize your documents that documents you're supposed to submit and then you have to submit your documents by yourself as no one can give you a uk visa it's only the uk home office that is supposed to give you a uk visa and our documents in uganda we submit them in east africa you submit your documents to the visa center tls contact center in kampala or any other city if you live in another country and then the where the decision center is in south africa Pretoria. it's where they take your documents yeah that's the thing and remember this is my documents this is my checklist i used you could either read through or watch this video and try to check with your documents but don't copy mine i'm just helping you to tell you what i used what i didn't use it's not included in this video so my uh remember they depend on your personal circumstances you could pay for first priority if you have money you could pay for first priority it helps you not to wait for 60 working days because the process takes 60 working days the normal process takes 60 working days but if you don't want to wait for 60 working days you could use first priority it takes five to five to 20 days working days remember everything is working days so you could pay for it but remember it the amount is not included on the visa fee and if you want to use a lawyer they charge you depending each company charges differently so it, it will depend 
for the country you've for the law firm you've used or the solicitor you've used so for us we use first for immigration the good lawyers based in the city of london in london and since i told you that this video will be in six parts as i submitted my documents the next video will be how i met the relationship requirement will be relationship documents the documents i use to prove that to prove my relationship with my partner and you could choose to apply for a fiance visa or you could you choose to apply for a spouse visa remember spouse visa is a settlement visa but it's valid for two and a half years and a fiance visa is that you're supposed to be you're not supposed to be married to apply for a fiance visa you're supposed to be engaged to apply for a fiance visa and it allows you to enter the uk with the intention of getting married that's it the difference between a fiance visa and a spouse visa and i'll tell you in my other videos everything you need to know about fiance and a spouse visa but if you this if you this video if you like this video you could either like it or subscribe on my youtube channel for more videos or send me a message anywhere on facebook instagram or comment on this video i'll be able to answer any question you ask me remember i'm not an immigration advisor i'm just a successful a successful african who wants to help who wants to share because i've been through this so i want you to have this knowledge before you apply for a uk settlement visa uk fiance visa and i love you all bye bye see you in my next video subscribe comment like share